In this lesson, you will learn about Chemistry, Manufacturing and Control, CMC Reviews. The main objective of CMC Reviews is to ensure that the drug has the claimed efficacy and no safety concerns in terms of quality. To achieve this objective, we confirm whether the manufacturing process is well controlled and whether the specifications and test procedures are adequately defined. The next slide will explain why the CMC review is so important. First of all, the marketing products are used on the premise that they have the same efficacy and safety profile as the results of the applicable Phase 3 clinical trials. Therefore, the marketing products must be identical to the products used in the Phase 3 clinical trial. To ensure this, the applicants maintain the same fundamental manufacturing processes and the test procedures, and also confirm that the same quality product is manufactured, even if the applicants have changed the manufacturing process and or the test procedures during the development phase. They must ensure equivalence before and after the CMC change. When the applicants have done this, the CMC reviewers assess the applicable changes. You might wonder if it's really so difficult to keep manufacturing exactly the same product. In fact, it's not easy. First, the quality of raw materials, including the starting materials, is not always the same. Next, the manufacturing conditions are not always stable, even if manufacturers operate using the manufacturing processes as usual. For example, there are many variables which can affect the manufacturing conditions, such as operators, temperature, and humidity. This will cause some variation among lots. Therefore, in order to ensure the manufactured product has quality as identical as the Phase 3 clinical trials as possible, the CMC reviewers should assess the manufacturing process and confirm that the product's quality is the same. This slide shows the objectives of the CMC review. The primary objective of the CMC review is to ensure that every marketing lot of the drug has the claimed efficacy and no safety concerns by assessing if the drug is capable of consistently meeting the required quality. To achieve this objective, the CMC reviewers review the manufacturing process and specifications from the perspective of consistency in the processes and quality. The CMC reviewers also review stability data to confirm that the shelf life and the storage conditions of the drug are adequate. Maintaining a certain level of quality after shipping until the product is used is one important aspect of quality assurance. At PMDA, the basic process of CMC reviewers is assessing CMC parts in CTD based on scientific grounds and regulations documented in ICH guidelines, domestic guides, and Japanese pharmacopoeia. If you face a case that does not fall within the scope of these documents, the CMC reviewers will respond to it on a case-by-case -case basis following the objectives mentioned earlier. The scope for quality assessment areas includes aspects such as composition, the manufacturing process, specifications and test procedures, storage conditions and shelf life, and manufacturing site information. Manufacturing site information contains only a small number of points for review, such as manufacturing licenses. Specifically, it is most important for the CMC reviewers to assess the manufacturing process, specification and test procedures, and storage condition and shelf life.
This slide shows the documents used in a new drug application. An overall quality summary is included in the yellow part. In Japan, region-specific information of CTD Module 1 also contains quality information. For this reason, the CMC reviewers also check Module 1.2, the application form, Module 1.8, the package insert, and Module 1.13, lists of manufacturing parameters, proven acceptable range, PAR, and normal operating range, NOR. This slide shows the contents of CTD Module 2.3, Overall Quality Summary. As previously stated, it is important for the CMC reviewers to specifically assess the manufacturing process, specification and test procedures, and storage condition and shelf life. Therefore, the CMC reviewers should understand the manufacturing process written in CTD Module 2.3 S2 and 2.3 P3, the control of drug substances and drug products written in CTD Module 2.3 S4 and 2.3 P5, and the stability information written in CTD Module 2.3 S7 and 2.3 P8, well. Furthermore, the CTD module 2.3 P2 pharmaceutical development section includes a lot of information which is useful for assessing the manufacturing process and the control strategy. These are the contents of manufacturing in CTD module 3. In Japan, CTD Module 2 is the main review document. Accordingly, you can refer to CTD Module 3 as necessary to understand the detailed manufacturing information. This slide shows the contents of pharmaceutical development in CTD Module 3. In order to identify the risks during the manufacturing process of a pharmaceutical product, it is necessary to understand how the history of its development correctly reflects the formulation and manufacturing process. The goal of manufacturing process development should be to establish a commercial manufacturing process capable of consistently producing drug substances and drug products of the intended quality. Checkpoints are as follows. 1. Starting materials. 2. Important processes and appropriateness of process control. 3. Appropriateness of process validation. 4. Equivalency of quality before and after changes to the manufacturing method. The guidelines to be referred to for the checkpoints are shown. ICHQ8 Pharmaceutical Development ICHQ9 Quality Risk Management and ICHQ11 Development and Manufacture of Drug Substances are particularly important guidelines for assessing the manufacturing process. The relationship between the CMC reviewers and the GMP inspectors is very important. In Japan, the CMC reviewers share information about their review process methods for manufacturing process changes with the GMP inspectors. In addition, the GMP inspectors inform the CMC reviewers of the results of the GMP inspections. In some cases, the CMC reviewers may also join in with GMP inspections. This means the CMC reviewers can carry out a proper final evaluation 
of CMC Matters properly.